In today's lesson, it talks about a game called Soccer Croquet. And in the attached lesson, uh, it kind of has a very good description about how to set that up. Uh, before you start something along those natures, I just wanted to remind you about some of those, uh, remembering how to properly kick a soccer ball. So I have outside set up here, I'm just gonna back up, so I'm gonna talk a little bit louder uh, and see if I can help uh, just walk you through some of those reminders about kicking a soccer ball properly. So when you get to approach the ball, remember you wanna use that instep, okay? That instep means that inside portion of our shoe from the middle of my foot and up until the toe. Remember, you don't wanna use your toe as a kicking point. You wanna make sure that you're turning that foot a little bit in order to dribble that soccer ball correctly. And also what I have set up out here is just some little modified cones. And if you don't have something like that at home, any sort of weighted you know, water bottle uh, can work or even something that you can kind of stick into the ground um, as a marker for those croquet games um, would be a really great idea for you to do those. So just a reminder about how that game works. So what I'm trying to do is angle my ball to go through the wicket. I don't get a score on that one. Okay? Kick it through this thing, and then from where it lands, now I'm going to try to set myself up for the next shot with those purple and green ones over there. I can dribble maybe a little bit. If I want to modify that game, okay, line myself up. I'm going to use that instep, kick the ball through the cones. I'm going to try to line myself up to where I can make a goal for the next one. If it takes me a couple of shots to be able to do that, then that's okay too, to get it through those wickets, okay? So remember, try to practice those soccer skills today and have a great time with your family.